Oh, look, I think India is going to be a tough, tough test. Uh, different conditions. A lot, of, a lot of the guys haven't haven't played a lot of cricket in India as well. Um, I think that's a, what's impressed me is the guys have responded uh, to the messages we've been sending out from a batting and a bowling perspective. Uh, they're prepared to maybe change their mindsets a bit, um, and also the, a lot of different players stepping up. Um, you know, there's there's one thing when you give opportunities, but I think the guys uh, throughout the team have have, have taken opportunities, um, and it's. It's causing me a good headache uh, going to, to India with, with regards to selecting a 11, but I think it's, it's a good position for us to be in because a lot of the guys are in form. Uh, the confidence is nice and high. Uh, but like I said, I think uh, India is going to be a, a very tough challenge. Uh, we're coming up a very good Indian side as well. Uh, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll keep working hard. Uh, once Solo doesn't make a summer, we understand that. Uh, we're at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, and we've got to keep climbing up. Um, I think our, most of the players in the, in the side know that, they respect that, um, and they understand that there's still a lot of hard work to be done um, going, going forward in the, in the near future. Besides Wednesday night innings, what changed your mind about Yanaman and Malani getting the squad? Well, Yanaman, I mean, we, we selected the squad before the, 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 well, the, the first in, uh, ODI against Australia. Um, Temba is not 100% fit yet. Um, so we had a discussion with Temba, uh, we decided to pull him out of this series. Uh, the medical staff have uh, recommended that maybe he might miss, miss the first game as well, so we needed cover for, for him. Um, you know, Temba owns that spot uh, and, and if we can get him back in, then, then he'll get back in. It's good to see that Yanaman has put his hand up. Like I said, he's one of those youngsters who have come through and, and played great, he's played great cricket. Um, and, and certainly has taken his chance. Um, but, you know, I'd, I'd love to be playing 20 guys in a team, but you can't do that. You've got to go out there and select the best players for, for those conditions that, you, that you're playing in. And, and that's what we're going to have to do. Dennis? I think change of format is, is quite important to, to realise. Um, you know, in the T20 games that we've played, uh, yes, we haven't, we didn't do well in two of the games, but I think in both the games we're probably chasing 30 to 40 runs too many, um, and that can sort of happen that you, you go out there trying to win the game, and we had certain targets that we wanted, wanted to achieve in the first 10 overs to give ourselves a chance, um, and we unfortunately lost wickets against a good bowling attack up front. So I think that played a, a big part in it. Uh, it might look like. You know, we just bowed out, um, but I think we, we went out there with the right mindsets. We just came up against some, some better bowling on the day. Um, in saying that, uh, you know, we've got to be more consistent, especially up, up front and give ourselves a chance. I think we realised the strengths of the Australian team um, in the one days and, and we sort of adapted very well to that. Um, and the guys are buying into the plan. Like I said, you know, it's one thing saying things, but the guys have to go out there and actually believe that the plans are, are there for a reason. And I think that's, that's where the mindset changes come in. And that's probably why we've been a lot more consistent. Mark, um, we saw a Look, we've got a medical staff, um, like in the past where there's a security concern, uh, we, we give that to them um, and they come up with recommendations. Uh, if, if they feel it's too dangerous, they pull us out and this is no different. We've got a medical staff to look after that. Uh, we had a nice brief, um, when is it, night before last, um, about, or it was last night, about um, the virus going around. Obviously, it's a major concern around the world, um, but we don't really, we, we're not medical. Um, we, we don't know medicine like they do, so we've taken the recommendations. And, and we trust that, that they've uh, put, in stuff, put stuff in places that, that's going to help us. Um, yes, with regards to handshakes and all that type of stuff, that is a, a concern. So you'll probably find we do the same. Uh, I think it's, it's just a, a way of, of trying to, to, to stop anything happening to, to our guys. And I think it's, uh, that's, it's out of respect uh, for, for the players around you, um, not to, to pass on something that you might have. Mark, I know it's looking far in the future, but... Um over the summer, um, you know, in Australia, we were following some of the things that were happening in South Africa cricket, and there was some concern, you know, because South Africa has been such a fierce competitor, you know, over Australia for many years. Uh, there's a test tour against Australia in the next year. You know, what kind of shape do you think your team will be for that? You know, 
Well, okay, so this is a different format. Um, the white ball cricket, um, you know, we've been very, very, been very good uh, with regards to white ball cricket. We're still a long way off in test cricket. So there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done um, with regards to test cricket. And we've, we've uh, put, put in place some camps during the off-season. I've said to the guys that, you know, the off-season is one thing, but I think we've got a lot of catching up to do with world cricket, where we want to be, where we can be. Um, and the guys understand that there's a lot of hard work to be, to be done before we start playing the next test series uh, in the West Indies. Uh, once we do that, then we'll see where we go with that, and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can come up against Australia and, and do ourselves proud. Last few questions, Shati, uh, Stuart, and then Dennis. Um, Coach, what are some of the things that have impressed you during this series? Because uh, there's no attack on Stuff that has impressed me? That hasn't. Hasn't impressed me. We won 3 0. So it's quite difficult to, to point. I, I, like I said, I think you, you, know, you always want to grow. Um, and I think uh, our, our bowling in the power plays, um, it wasn't fantastic throughout the series. Um, but today, I think we showed that when we got you know, conditions that, that were more conducive to, to seam bowling, um, I thought we bowled really well this morning. Um, it's something that we have spoken about. But I think you also got to take it into context. Like I said, you know, we, we, we've spoken about the Australians and we, we feel that they're strong. Um, the one turn three in the Australian batting lineup, you know, it's, you don't get many better top three uh, in the world than, than those three. So, you know, if you can try and uh, limit, limit the damage up front, um, you know, you, you have to try to do that. And we probably went for too many runs uh, in the first two games up front. But we managed to pull it back nicely. So we're always looking to grow um, and we keep challenging ourselves. And, and that's the discussion that we had. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the places I, I don't see it. I don't see it as a, something that I'm, I'm not happy about. Um, I'm happy about it now because I think we learned from it. Um, you know, if it's not happening, you're not learning. And uh, I, I see it as a growing process uh, for the guys. I think, you know, if you go to a place like India, you need a, a bit of a balance of, of youth and experience. And I think Faf has done really well in one day cricket, um, full stop for South Africa. Uh, I think his last knock that he played, he got 100. Um, he knows the, the Indian conditions very well. Um, like I said, it's a bit of a headache for me at the moment. It's, it's a good headache to have. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean, just him being around the squad will obviously add a lot of value um, and, and experience as well. Uh, we'll have a look and see the conditions and, and how we can put, sort of put combinations together with regards to batting lineup. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, why, why, why would you not want to have Faf in, in the setup? Like I said, he's done really well in those conditions. Finally, Dennis. Uh, Mark, you, you've spoken about the, the different, you know, the different um, formats and such. Uh, would you firstly agree that, that this year the team 20 is like the Obviously, the T20 World Cup this year has, has given T20 cricket this year you know, a big importance. Um, but I think, you know, in general, cricket South Africa uh, and all the pro tiers, um, we need to find ourselves growing. And and the players that are that are playing in the One Day Series now, I mean, we've just beaten a very good, a very good uh, team in Australia. So. You know, we need a bit of confidence, and this will certainly give us a lot of confidence. A lot of guys who are probably on the, on the edge of, of selection, uh, they've put up their hands as well, which is a good position for us to be in. Um, so, I, you know, yes, and I do understand that there's a T20 World Cup later, but, um, you know, we've picked up a lot of confidence from, from this win, and hopefully we can take it through to India. Um, and then as we get closer to, to the T20 World Cup, we can start winning a lot of games and, and, and take that through into the World Cup.